Hey everybody, what's going on? It's John281 here, and we're back again with some more Crafting Dead. Very nearly forgot what series I was playing right now. I'm a little bit on the tired side. And, uh, these carrots look like they're getting real close to harvestable. Real close. I might leave them just a little bit longer, because you can still see, like, scattered bits and bobs of not quite ready carrots, especially like right here. There's a big patch there. Another big patch. There's still a few big patches of uh, unready carrots. So I think I'm going to let that sit for a little bit longer. But we're getting close. Look at that. Look at how close we are. Ooh. I will go replant those reeds up there. Get those going on the, the next cycle or what have you. Hello, cow. Um, well, let's see. I don't have much in the way. Well, I guess I never have plans almost never for what I'm gonna do uh, each episode it's more of just a you know improv which uh, turns out I'm bad at in this game um, but I think we might either near the end of this episode maybe beginning of next episode what how how the hell have you not done anything with your life you were a completely ungrown carrot adjacent to almost entirely surrounded by fully grown carrots and you have not grown at all how did you get to that point okay that carrots that's that carrot is gonna it's gonna be the one that breaks the system oh tree you know what's funny that tree popping into existence reminded me i was gonna do something with trees last episode right i was trying to get some kind of trees going i think i was trying to get enough resources for um yeah, for jungle trees, I think? I can't remember what the system was. I suspect it was two and two and one. Two stacks of logs, two stacks of leaves, and a stack of saplings. Just because that makes sense. And that's what I have in there. I mean, I could have gone back and checked, but I didn't. And I also didn't remember. Until a tree popped into existence and re reminded me. Um, it was like a light bulb turning on, except, you know, it was a whole tree turning on. Um, but, I don't know. It's, uh, sorry if I'm kind of all over the place today. My brain's been kind of blah lately, just, well, I guess just today. Just kind of bouncing all over the place. Because, uh, my sleep, my sleep cycle has been shit recently. Like, I have just been sleeping at the least opportune times. Like, cannot fall asleep, and then I end up waking up. Like, really late and shit. Oh, well, crap. Hold on. Do I have any? No. Give me you. And, like, this morning, I I did not sleep much last night, so all of today I've been real tired. Just, like, ridiculously tired. One of these chests is going to have what I'm looking for. As I said that, I suddenly was aware that it might not. But it did. And so here we are. Um. So forgive me if I'm not my usual self. I was going to say usual, usual, bleh, usual funny self, but mm, you know what? Let's not stretch it more than we can. Uh, so, if I'm not, if I don't see myself, it's because uh, I'm real tired. I did not sleep much last night. Don't know why. I just uh, slept like, uh, slept like crap. Been doing that a lot recently. Can't, can't quite put my tongue on why. Tongue? Is that, that's a normal, that's a, that one always confused me. The tongue thing. Anything relating to tongue. It's like, on the tip of your tongue makes sense if, it, if you're trying to think of a word, but all the other tongue things, sayings, it's like, that's that's weird. I can't quite put my... Oh, mm, you know what? I just realized why that sounded so weird. Thumb. Thumb is the correct body part to be putting on a thing. Can't quite put my thumb on it? See, that makes a hell of... That, mm, see, that one makes a lot more sense. I'm mixing idioms is what is what the problem is there. That's where I have had my error. That would be why it all sounded so weird. It's because I can't quite put my thumb on it. Why you're putting your thumb on it, I'm not sure, but that's how it goes. Doesn't make too much more sense than a than a tongue, really. But uh, I guess it's better than a tongue, I guess. Okay, so we got all this sorted. Let's go ahead and take this. This is our this is our tribute to 
the gods of giving me a jungle, jungle sapling, aka myself. Uh, also, sorry if the audio is a bit uh, janky. I've had some mic problems the past couple weeks. I don't really know why. Uh, I, it's just, I, my, uh, there was a power blip and my mic was suddenly worked a lot better. Which I've noticed it does. From time to time, it'll just spontaneously work a lot better. Don't know why. Like, it's like I've unlocked a new feature of my mic. Well, I know it's supposed to be there, it just normally isn't, and so when it is there, it catches me off guard. Like, being able to hear myself when I talk. That's a feature that my mic is supposed to just always have, and it doesn't, for whatever reason. I've gone through a number of things, whether it's like a short in the wire, at one point I actually took apart my mic to check the internals, because I do take my mic with me when I travel, or I used to at least, um, and I've moved a number of times, so it's been moved with me. So I'm like, maybe I something came loose. So I took the literally entire mic apart piece by piece. And then uh, went, okay, well, I can't figure out what it is, so I'm just going to put it together and psst, hope something happened. And then I plugged it in and it worked just fine. I'm like, okay, well, I didn't do that for the 50 minutes of troubleshooting. I was trying to get it to do that. So, huh, funny. So... My mic just acts up, and I think I've got it working pretty well right now. I'm still working. I'd like to get it to work better, but it's technology. So that's always a long, it's always a, a running goal when it comes to any kind of technology because tech these days is so complicated. It's not just a flip switch on. If they flip switch on and that does 60 other things, one of those things inevitably doesn't work for whatever reason. So... I'd like my mic to work better. I'd like to have better audio, but getting there, all the all the pieces and the parts in the right place. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take down the rest of the trees. I got enough. I got what I was looking for. So I, the rest of you can come down. Also, my mouse has not not been cooperating recently. I have the Razer Naga Chroma with like six other words on it. I'm sure, but uh, I did some research. Turns out the uh, scroll wheel goes bad after a while. My brother was complaining about some trouble with his. I'm like, nah, you just don't, you know. Yours is just weird. And then uh, about two months later, I went, oh, okay, well, now I'm having that problem. But works great aside from that. And I guess it's just like a mechanical thing. There's a part that wears out if you use it for several years. Although at the same, you know, level, most people replace their mice, or most people who buy $90 mice replace them not every, you know, more frequently than once every few years, or at least I think they do. Normally with computers, it's like, replace a part every six months, and you're set. Okay, well, I gotta take the tray out first. But, so forgive me if I have real weird audio, uh, if my audio levels aren't quite what they should be. Uh, it's always, I was messing around with them a little bit beforehand, trying to try and refine them, which is more than I normally do to be fair, because uh, I'm a terrible person, but I think I got them decent. I got them in a, in a nice place that I'm happy with. I messed with my gain and my other gain and my other gain. I just messed with a bunch of different things. They basically twisted knobs and, you know, turned bits and bobs until it sounded not as bad. And uh, I, found, I found a spot that did that, so hopefully that keeps working. Okay, you trees aren't grown, so... I'm going to take you out. I'm waiting for that one off to my left to grow just before I punch it. Better hurry. Nope. Got him. Um, so yeah. Again, sorry if, uh, if my brain's all over the place or if what I'm saying sometimes doesn't make sense. I am like half asleep right now. My brain is just not processing things right. But hopefully, hopefully that will change. Because the only thing, everything's going pretty well right now in my life, minus my sleep schedule, which sucks. Uh, because I suck, I guess. But I just cannot get my sleep schedule normal. Doesn't matter what I do. I will never be able to have a normal sleep schedule without some massive timed incentive, like a job or something. I'm just too prone to staying up a little bit later each night. 
doesn't even have to be like hours. It could be like, I'll stay up, I end up 10 minutes later each night. You know, 10 minutes one night, 20 minutes the other night. And then eventually that just adds up to, oh, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Well, shit. But, oh well, oh yes, there's more wood. Give me that. I'm just waiting for that one freaking jungle tree to grow. I get some bones, but those are few and far between. So, I want to be careful. I wonder, what if I made a trade for just compost? Or I traded saplings for bone meal. Hmm. That'd be interesting. How is my carrot farm doing? Is this grown? Has it, has this, uh, you know, 10 minutes been enough for it to flourish? How's that one little fucking tiny ass carrot? How's that doing? Yep. Okay. Well, it's done nothing. Impressive. Um. Quite a bit more of this is looking grown. I'm tempted to go ahead and throw the switch. Hmm. It could still use a little bit more. It's it's making good progress. There's a patch there. A couple patches there. One right there. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll leave it a little bit longer. We're getting close, though. We're getting close. Um. What else do I need? Actually, you know what? If we have any bones here, I'm just going to throw some bones at it and just do that. I'll do it that way. Just because I am really that lazy. Uh... No. Hmm. That's a shame. Yeah, yeah, calm down. Um... Where, do, where would there be bones? What I need to do is find a skeleton spawner. That's what I should do. Find a skeleton spawner and have at it. I would just make one, but you can't do that in this game anymore. Or at least I don't think. Hmm, I wonder. I could set up... I could build a skeleton spawner, I guess, out of a game... command block. I don't know why I wanted to call that a game cube. That's really not what that is. But... I don't know. Um, hmm. I'm kind of waiting around right now. Ooh, I could feed the pigs. I need to feed the pigs. How's these carrots looking? Okay, feed the pigs, then come back, harvest the produce. Um, feed the chickens and the sheep. Feed. I'll just feed all the people. Minus you. Y'all, you're doing fine. Trust me. What does that sign say? Does that sign say something? I feel like that sign says something. What does the sign say? Cow pet. Gotcha. That, you know what? Probably should have guessed that. Um. Fucking ground pigs. Might need more carrots to feed you. How are you chickens doing? You guys are crapping out eggs left and right. Well, not left and right. Just really in the same spot. <laughs> Got them both. Quick scope. Um, okay. You guys want seeds, right? Look, seeds. Mmm, seeds. Where the hell did the other one go? Okay, well, you're gonna get seeds first, because I could click on you. Calm the fuck down here. There you go. You can't even catch, they can't even catch up with each other. Guys, chill out. Jesus. Oh my god. Hey, they did it. I was a little concerned that they wouldn't make it at some point. That was, y'all need to fucking calm down a lot. Why are you running around like that? Okay, what, 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 no, what is this? What is this? What are you doing? What is this? What are you, what? Okay, calm down here. I swear I put more, like, gates into these fucking areas. More than one. What are you guys doing? Okay. I'll give you guys some... Uh, hmm. Well, I guess I'm not going to do that. Cows, I need some wheat. I don't know why I didn't leave any wheat in there, but I need some wheat. Okay, so when I replant that carrots, those carrots, that single carrots, I'm going to replant it with wheat, because uh, I'm about to need a lot of wheat. If I could just... Thank you. Um, do that. Boom. Whatever. Uh, doink. Nope. I 
have a shovel. Bone, shut the... Okay, could you... Thank you. Cow, okay. You know what? Fuck you. I'm sorry you one cow had to pay penance for the entire pen, but... You did, and I had to do what had to be done, and I did it, and then I, it was done, and so that is how it was done. So, feel free to pass it along. Uh, feed you, and feed you. Ooh, you know what I could do? Oh, great, I'm out of water. Only wish I could drink. What I should do is grab some dye and dye these sheep. So that as I feed them, I get other colors. I should probably do that. I'm gonna do that. Okay, okay, be done with the thirst thing. Not a fan. Um, where... Where would I have placed dye? Hmm. I know where I have black. Black is one I really need. I'll have to go back to that main house to get it. So I'm gonna go back to the main house. Grab the the squid ink. Because I don't have much, so I need to grab two of it. So I wanna preserve as much as I can. So I'm gonna rush off the main house grab that squid ink I think it's like halfway down the corridor in the storage system under the house it's in the just animal drops chest I should probably look for some other crap while I'm going I'm gonna eat too just to make sure I don't die yeah cuz I heal faster than I take damage when I'm drowning in dehydration but that's okay. Um, let's see, what else do I need to grab? I think there might be some dye in the main chest at the bottom of the, uh, whatever the hell, the condensing, where all the crap goes that needs to get sorted. I don't have a word for that, but that thing. Well, that was, still don't like how close that puts me. Um... Okay. Yeah, zombies fuck right off. Let's eat some more carrots. Um, okay, so first of all, any any dye. There's red. There's yellow. Any other dye. There's brown. I'll take one brown. I realize I have one there. And I'm trying to get more, but that's okay. There's... I need two black. Actually, I do need two brown. So I'll take a second brown. Um, those flowers can just stack there. Uh, do I have any dye? Uh, two blue. Not all the dye in there? Yeah. I wanted to double check. Where do I have... I feel like I probably don't have much in the way of just dye. I suddenly can hear all of the water. Um... Yeah. No. Good there. Okay. Yeah. Where is any dye? Okay, there's black there. Okay, so I have more black than I thought I did. Um, here we go. Give me... I don't need orange. I'll take cyan, sure. I'll take the orange as well. Why not? Well, I guess I can't really use I, that one. So I'll just take this one. And I need a... Stop dying already. Calm down. I need... Cactus green, which is cactuses which I have are next to the other house. So I only sleep at night, which means it's nighttime, which is good. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Um 
Hmm. I don't know which house I slept in. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to take a guess. Just cuz it's going to be real quick anyway and I need to reset my thirst. Oh, almost clipped it. Um okay, I was right. So I need to go go to the sheep pen. Let's get Hmm. Let's do a cyan, a blue, a yellow, the yellow, give me the red. I'm going to do two black. How about two black, a cyan, and a blue? That sounds good to me. I wonder if mixing them at different points does anything. Like, does that change... Do their parents affect it? Like if you have an orange parent and a red sheep and it creates a red sheep. If you have a red and an orange that make a red. Never mind, that's getting too complicated. I'm not awake enough for that. You and you. And come here. You and you. There we go. Those black sheep seem very fitting with all the snow. I don't know why. Um, put all the dye in there. Hmm. And I think we might do that when we come back next episode. I think we're gonna. Well, we'll probably hit this farm, and then we'll do the auto farm just to give it that little bit more time. But I think uh, as for this episode, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I realize most of it was mad uh, slash nonsensical rantings about uh, nothing in particular. But uh, still, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!